Good morning. My math is right. We find ourselves in the 28th day of Lent and the 13th day of sheltering or, or not going outside. And I hope all of you are, are well. Normally I'm behind the camera, so being in front is somewhat of a new experience. I am blessed, however, to have been able to film Bishop Ted and Father Ben delivering the, their wonderful and timely messages and, and keeping our church community together while we go through this period of physical separation. Notice I use the word physical, which brings me to the observation that I have come to while filming. It's an eerie but peaceful feeling in the church being the only other person um, in, in the building while, this, while the filming is taking place. And yet I realize this, Parishioners have been sitting in this church for 108 years and will be sitting here again shortly and will be sitting from in this church for many years to come. And what makes this church is the community for all that have come before us, all that, that are here now, and all that will come after us. And as beautiful as the building is, it is not the building but the people that make this church. Even now, while we are physically apart, we are bound together by faith and continue to check in and care for each other. We set up virtual dinners, virtual meetings, and worship joined together from afar. That's what makes St. James the church that I love. The collect for today, which is Saturday the 28th, is Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works, and sanctify the day of rest for all your creatures. Grant that we, putting away our earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Gospel reading today, which is out of Mark chapter 9, verses 14 through 29, describes the point where Jesus encounters a father whose son is inhabited by a spirit that renders the son unable to speak and flails on the ground. When Jesus finds out that his disciples could not uh, remove the demon from the boy, he cries out, you faithless generation, how much longer must I be among you? When the boy's father asks Jesus for help, Jesus replies, if you are able, all things can be done by the one who believes. And that is where I find myself, believing, contemplating, serving, and praying in Lent and eagerly awaiting the great gift that God will bestow upon us. Before I end, I want to share a picture I found painted by North, uh, Norman Rockwell. This is the community that, that walks and travels with us. And as Ben so eloquently says, remember that we need to make haste to love and be quick to be kind to all of these folks. Thank you for listening and be healthy.